Hello, hello! Welcome to Raw! Big fan, big fan. Really? Oh, everyone on the team is a long-time admirer. Ever since we got word last week. It's a quick pivot to squeeze you in, but we're used to things changing fast around here. Not a problem at all. Didn't think it would be? I'm Troy Simkin. Yep, I'm that guy. I'm sure you've heard the more established superstars mention their favorite WWE producer. I don't think I have. Hmm. Are you not mingling with your peers? That's kind of a must-do around here. Actually, we have several handy documents outlining all the unwritten do's and don'ts. Doesn't that make them written? But before we get sidetracked, what I was getting at is we already have a few ideas of how to use you. But we'll be in touch. Do you maybe want to talk about some of the things I've been thinking or am interested in doing? Like I said, get settled. We're working on some ideas. Gotta run. Later, Cat. They actually call me Cap. Huh. Could have sworn it was Cat. Oh well. We'll see where we land with the name. Bringing indie cred and attitude to the WWE ring. It's Making Cap. Making way to the ring from out of this world. Bad Amy. Cap looks to the like she is itching to throw hands tonight. Bad and she's come to the right Amy. place. Her opponent wants nothing more than to take that big indie reputation and drag it through the mud. The look of determination on Cap's face speaks volumes, Corey. This is a woman looking to climb all the way to the top of WWE. It's good to have goals, but we're just going to have to see if she has what it takes to make the climb. I have my doubts.
The captain is ready to call the shots. Cora Jade is here. Jendo stick in hand, ready for a fight. And from Chicago, Illinois, Cora Jade. As far as Cora is concerned, no one measures up to her. She's on another level. And you know what? I think she might be right. She has a thorny and jealous attitude. That's for certain. Yeah, she's always ready to pick a big fight. Cora Jade is hoping to make a statement here tonight. And that statement is, you can't handle the generation of Jade. Cora Jade finds herself squaring off against a newly focused and mindful opponent in Cap. Yeah, I heard she's recently embraced meditation and is looking to reach an entirely new plane of wrestling out there. Well, her cheese may be aligned now, but after Cora Jade's through with her, I doubt they'll stay that way. And that was a successful bit of offense with that maneuver. Slowly getting up, but flying. She comes up empty. Oh, ouch. Beautiful sent on. Over and over again. Oh, that was creative. It's looking bad for her here. Afterglow combo. You can't get caught in a hailstorm like that if you want to win. She's on unsteady legs in the corner. Needs to recover. Measure. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Goes into the pin. Kicks out on the pinfall attempt. Impressive to not even allow a two count at this juncture. Meteora. Cover. She breaks the count quick. Fighting hard to stay in this match. Leaping attack that is reckless abandon being shown and paying off as well. Oh man, meeting the barricade. Boom. Jade must be phased after this string of action. Yeah, Jade has to find a response quickly. To reverse. She's on her last legs here. Here we go. Time to work out some aggression. Slugging away with everything they've got. Giving up now is not an option. They have to finish this. What impressive determination from both competitors. Keeping at each other no matter what. She manages to get control. Counter after counter. WWE Universe appreciating these athletes going all out. And Jade's caught with a reversal. Toe to toe. Fist after fist. Neither one relenting here. Two fighters putting their haymakers on other fighters. Oh, one thunderous final blow. The knee right on the temple. And the ref stops the count. Driver. 
And that was a well-targeted attack. Kick connects with a body. Jade's in deep peril here. Cover! It's over. All in a night's nice work. Here is your winner, Bad Amy! So Cora Jade comes out on the losing end here. Cora Jade's perpetual bad mood just got worse. No way she lets this loss go. So, sounds like Nikki's got you hooked on the breath app, too? It did seem to help me in my last match. I like it. I'm not sure I'd say I'm hooked. Oh, you'll get hooked. The whole thing's a pyramid scheme. The meditation app? The one that trains you to breathe? That's how it starts. Before long, I was breathing all the time. Now that I'm nearly the diamond level, I don't think I could stop breathing if I tried. That just sounds like basic biology. But if it's bothering you that much, and you're really worried it's some sort of pyramid scheme, why don't you just quit? Oh no, let me be clear. I don't care that it's a pyramid scheme, as long as I'm at the top. Plus, at diamond level, there are a ton of new perks. All I've got to do is sign up a couple more people. I know we're technically sisters of the breath, but if you try to cop any of my referrals, I will drop you. All good. I'm just in it for the breathing. You sound so gold level right now. Commanding the ring and the forging her path. A the six captain woman battle royal. Making her way to the ring from out of this world. Bad Amy. Cap has been making waves ever since her WWE tryout. If by waves you mean doing a great job of making the rest of the locker room suspicious of her motives, then yeah, sure. a fever pitch upon their arrival and we are just seconds away from a highly anticipated match. We are about to see a martial arts masterpiece. Both on the ramp and in the ring. From K. 
Chongqing, China, Zaya Lee. Oh, Zaya has an impressive martial arts background. Yeah, Zaya is certainly well versed in the art of combat. The protector has arrived. One of the best strikers in the entire women's division. The consummate underdog of the women's division, Zelina Vega. And representing the LWO from Queens, New York, Zelina Vega. Zelina, one of the smallest competitors with the biggest heart. Yeah, now Zelina is sitting under the learning tree of Rey Mysterio and the rest of the LWO. Zelina really has a chance to break out even further. Zelina looking to make the LWO and her family proud tonight. The Welsh Dragon herself. And from the Welsh Valleys, Tegan Knox. This woman is the personification of resilience, has suffered multiple torn ACLs in both knees, yet still continues to give it her all in the ring. Yeah, and even shares a little knee brace fashion with none other than Stone Cold Steve Austin. I can tell Tegan is itching to start throwing some punches and kicks. Here comes Kaden Carter. As energetic as she is, exciting to watch. And from the Philippines, Kaden Carter. Kaden Carter, a former collegiate basketball star, has been doing big things since coming to WWE. Yeah, it's that athletic mindset that has made her such a fierce competitor. Indeed, I believe a highlight reel performance is in order tonight. Six fearless contenders are facing off apparently with meditation mastery. Yeah, back in the day, I got in the ring for some silly reasons, but this one might top them all. Looks like someone hasn't reached Emerald level yet. Teeth. 
What an elbow drop right to the heart. There she goes. Aiden Carter. Everyone has a plan until they get punched in the mouth. Well, someone just threw their plan out the window. for leaving an opening. Boom! Brought down with the sling blade. Kevin yeah. Marino has been eliminated. Oh, well scouted by Tegan. Chopping neck breaker. Ouch! Was ready for that. Caught with that sharp elbow. out for that burst of energy. Oof. Oh, man. Face buster. Well, that's one way to leap. They got it. Here is your winner, Bad Amy! Grabbing the win in this one is a serious accomplishment. We are looking at the textbook definition of a winner right now, and you can bet she is about to let everyone in the locker room know just that. Have you managed to sign anyone up to the app yet? Or are you still just a fledgling Gasper? A what? No. I just use the app. I'm not into all the hunting for recruits and everything. Great! Then who do you know who might want to use the program? And will you give me their emails, phone numbers, addresses, and social security numbers, if you have them? Um... No. Come on, Cap. You're messing with my livelihood here. Your livelihood? You're a wrestler, last I checked. For now, but for how long? This could be my career post WWE. A pyramid scheme? Take that back. You don't use those terms. Those terms are forbidden among the breathers. Who told you this was a pyramid scheme? You, a week ago. A week's a long time. I'm gonna get to diamond level, and now I understand the app's vision. Picture it. A world where everyone, everywhere, no matter their background or income, breathing. <laughs> Isn't everyone already breathing? Not properly. They don't know. The outsiders don't know the true power of the breath. Okay, I have to be honest with you. You're making this whole thing sound really crazy. If this is what the app is doing to people, I think I'm just gonna breathe on my own. Then I can no longer speak with you. I must sever all connections with outsiders because they are not one with the breath and therefore hinder my path to enlightenment and disrupt the harmony within our sacred community. You've severed all connection with reality. And I hate to tell you this, but you're in a cult. That word is even more forbidden than pyramid scheme. It is my sacred duty to defend my sisters of the breath. You and me, in the ring, now! Try not to pop every blood vessel before we even get there.
Welcome a superstar who defines contest. tenacious, brave, and driven. Making her way to the ring from out of this world. Bad Amy! From indie legend to WWE superstar, Cap is always ready for action. Yeah, this isn't some smoke-filled bingo hall, Saxton. It's WWE. If the so-called captain wants to prove herself here, she's got to do it in the ring. see this one start this is gonna be good go! Ava Moreno takes to defending the breathing community against Cap the dissenter Saxton it might be time for an intervention if you just use the link I sent let's get that focus in the ring gentlemen jeez <laughs> snapmare takeover pow She's forced onto the defensive now. Yeah, but too soon to be worried. That's still a quick kick out at this point. Looking worse for wear in the corner now. And the Bulldog. Resiliency on display. Had that one scouted. Who will break first? That is the question. The willpower, the sheer guts of these two. The white cross body. Seeking missile coming at you. And the explosion occurring ringside. Just continuing to dismantle their opponent. She re enters the ring now. And countouts are legal, so hopefully this will be a short trip outside. Uh oh. Clear the table. Yeah, gonna take it to the next level. What is this superstar thinking? They're thinking about the end. For concern. Cover! Two! And that'll about do it, folks. Here is your winner, Bad Amy! A big win for her, and she certainly earned it. She came into this match with one thing on her mind, and would you look at that? It came to fruition.
A leader in the or out of the ring. The scheduled for the one captain. Ball, making her way to the ring from out of this world. Bad Amy! Bad Bad looks to the like she is itching to throw hands tonight. Bad and she's come to the right place. Her opponent wants nothing more than to take that big indie reputation and drag it through the mud. Cap has been making waves ever since her WWE tryout. By waves, you mean doing a great job of making the rest of the locker room suspicious of her motives? Then, yeah, sure. Ladies and gentlemen, get ready for some chaos. And from Glasgow, Scotland, Nikki Cross. The superhero's flown the coop. Nikki's now somehow even more unhinged than before. There's so many accolades in Nikki's career. She was even the final 24-7 champion after throwing the title in the trash. Well, the last woman to throw a title in the trash made it to the Hall of Fame, so maybe there's a method to Nikki's madness. We've got a breathtaking showdown as Cap tries to ring the last gas from a meditation app, and Nikki Cross fights to breathe new life into its reach. It's embarrassing how a multi-level marketing thing has led someone to wanting to throw down over a lack of sign-ups. Let's just all remember how easy it is to get wrapped up in stuff like this. It can happen to anybody. And she gets a quick kick out. She probably didn't expect it to put her away there, but she's put her on notice. Ooh. Elbow throw saying not today. Unbelievable athleticism. Sometimes you just gotta show off and show out. Heads outside, but this one has to end in the ring. Targeting the chest, very effective. Ah, oh, straight forearm. Coming back into the ring, back to the action. on the wrong side of the ball there. She can withstand the punishment. Into a reverse power slam. Wow. Uh-oh. Both arms trapped. This will not end well. This is not going to be good. Relentless. Every strike more devastating than the last. From the top. Oh, flattening the opposition. And into the count. Just barely, but it counts. There's the atomic drop and the splash. What a combo. Ross able to avert that. Forearm to the jaw. To the back of the neck, Scottish Sickle. Into the roundhouse kick. Uh oh. Oh, this is going to be nasty. This is going to be bad. Watch the impact. Clever. For the win. Two. That's all she wrote. Here is your winner, Bad Amy. What an emphatic victory, guys. No contest. I'm not 100% sure Nikki is aware she came out on the losing end of this match. Whether Nikki knows it or not, she lost the match.
It's so amazing that I get to be part of your WWE story. You're welcome. Excuse me? Your debut was fire. Wearing that TBD shirt and grabbing the mic from Saxton. And I'm obviously always part of anything that's fire around here. So I'm going to be your tag team partner. Actually, that's not a bad idea. It'd be smart for me to get some momentum in a tag match or two. I'm in. Great, because Troy already okayed it, and he's setting up a match. B-T-T-F! What? Best tag team forever? Don't worry, you'll catch on.